Local businessman is taking matters into his own hands after his store was burglarized a couple days ago. He went to the police who said it could be difficult to track the criminals down. So he says he posted photos on social media of the two men stealing from him. Chloe Beardsley has a closer look at how he's trying to catch them. Today we talked with Emery Peterson at American Laptop Warehouse who says he's trying to publicly shame the two men who stole from him. And if anyone can identify them, he's offering a $500 reward. It all started when these two men wearing hats and sunglasses walked into American Laptop Warehouse along Longley Lane. One of the men went to distract the owner by asking some questions, while the other stood at the front pretending to be on the phone, then quickly grabbed a computer and left. Emery Peterson said at the time there wasn't much he could do. You chase one guy through the parking lot and the other guy loads up the rest of your stuff and takes it, so you cut your losses somewhere. So instead, he's shaming them online. There's only so much the police can do for you know a petty theft of a few hundred dollars, and you can't really expect them to roll out the SWAT team and go chase these guys. So I thought if I have the ability to you know share online with a bunch of people, I may as well. The thieves are described as two white men wearing all black. One appeared to be in his late 30s or 40s and is about five foot eight to five foot ten with a buzzed haircut and a goatee. The other is in his late 20s to early 30s and is about six foot two to six foot four with a heavy build and light curly blonde hair and a goatee. They drove away in a blue Saturn. Peterson says the laptop they stole is worth roughly $350, but he's offering a $500 reward to identify the criminals to prove a point. I don't even care if I get the laptop back, honestly. I just like to make a point that if you steal from somebody and, you know, they can get you caught. Police say depending on the situation, doing something like this can help or hurt the investigation. It helps uh, the community find these people, but when you post things like this on the internet, you know, sometimes it scares people and they'll get rid of the property or even leave the area. The videos and photos were uploaded yesterday and it's already gone viral. It's been reshared 650 times or so and about 80,000 people have seen it. In the end, Emery says he just wants to get justice. I feel like people like that don't really need to be on the street stealing from people or not really contributing to society in any way. Emery has already gotten a few suspect names. He will be passing that information over to police. To see more photos and to view the full surveillance video, you can go to KTVN.com. Covering the story, Chloe Beardsley, Channel 2 News.